I have so much stuff here at the moment. I'm literally just trying to clean up. I've got a cloth here to get rid of dust. Ugh, just nothing will stay clean. Okay. Thanks for checking out this video. This is just a little bit of an extra thing in the interim while I'm trying to get through all these videos. This is what you're looking at here is the Monster Joystick, but it's the updated model, so it is compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4 USB-C HDMI ports, three and a half inch, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, USB 3. Yeah, so they've just modified the design so it'll fit the Raspberry Pi 4 properly. Again, I am getting to the review of this. It's just taking me a little bit longer than I thought. So I thought I would let you see the process of putting it together on this channel. Now, it, you know, for some people, it's going to be boring, you know, whatever. Some people are going to be like, oh, wow, I'd, I'd, I'd really like to see that. So that's why I'm releasing it here. Um, I'm really actually impressed with the build quality. The Sanwa buttons and joystick, really love the feeling of those. Um, you've got access to the micro SD card port under the bottom, but I'm going to go over all this in the review anyway, so don't, don't stress too much. Um, one thing I actually really like, he's, um, done a really great job of this, uh, the instructions. Really, uh, really clear. I think he's done a really good job of that. One of the other things that I did get, uh, Monster Joysticks to send out to me as well was the clear cover so I could do my own artwork. Now this is one of the things that's holding me up at the moment. I want to make sure that this is really eye capturing, uh, capturing and something that really just screams back to my youth. Now I, I remember playing arcade games at the uh, bowling alley and so forth. There was Strider. Oh, Strider was amazing. When, when I saw that for the first time in the arcade I was totally blown away and I fell in love with Capcom and the console ports just did not do that game justice. The arcade game was amazing. It was hard though, like as a, you know, I can't remember how old I was, probably 10, 12 years old. That was a hard game. The other classics I remember are like Bubble Bubble, Ghouls and Ghosts, um, Street Fighter 2 obviously. There were just some really amazing arcade games and I can't actually wait to, yeah, try these out with MAME or arcade emulation at least with the Raspberry Pi 4. RetroPie still, yeah, they still, we'll have it ready when we're ready. That's the, the forum response at the moment. And that, that's fair enough, but again, I, I feel like there, there could have been some preparation for Buster. It just seems that there, there were a lot of things that are broken and they're just trying to fix it and make it work with the latest Raspberry Pi 4. So I think we've just all got to hang in there. It's going to come eventually. Just, yeah, just not yet. So, all right. With that said, anyway, enough rambling. I'm, I'm talking too much. Let's uh, get on with the construction of the Raspberry Pi 4 version of the Monster Joystick. <laughs> 